developing now. California put Joe Biden over the top with more than 270 electoral votes needed to become president. KFDM's Victoria White reports what Southeast Texas party leaders have to say about the electoral college vote. November 3rd, the American people cast their votes. Now it's the electoral college's turn. It's an uh, integral part of the process of electing our president. State Representative Joseph Desotel expects President-elect Joe Biden to receive all 306 votes pledged. But Jefferson County Republican Party Chair Judy Nichols is hoping for another outcome. I hope we have patriots in the Electoral College who do not support a Chinese-bought president. She says she hopes electors will see corruption and not certify the results. It's pretty obvious to anyone who wants to see that the Chinese have bought the Democrat presidential candidate and we need to have an American president. Desotel says President Donald Trump has planted seeds of distrust and division despite losing the election. It's very unfortunate that he's putting his personal feelings above democracy in, the, in, in this country. He says it's illogical to say Democrats rigged the election and people will pull together. Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement. There were a lot of different times where the country was very divided and we thought this was the end of our democracy, but we've always survived and we're going to survive uh, this, this time. Finding a way forward after 2020, each party has a different outlook. Our country will not come together under a Chinese-bought president. Okay. That, uh, would, that would be un-American. Life moves on. Life going to move on past Trump. The United States is very resilient and we're going to move on as a nation and as a leader in the world. In Beaumont, Victoria White, KFDM 6 News. A joint session of Congress will certify the Electoral College vote on January 6th. Two weeks later, the inauguration takes place.